Hello everyone. I am Ezekiel Bruni, and if you're watching this video, then you know the truth. You know it all. I'm a massive dork. <laughs> I'm also your friendly neighborhood web designer, and today, me and what's left of my teenage acne will be reviewing... Let's wait for it... Smashing Logo! A logo generation service. And, wow, that looks very, very bare bones. I have not used the actual logo maker. I've done some browsing around the site to see what sort of features it has, and to see if I could actually find some, some logo samples. Interestingly enough, you can find them under pricing. You can download the sample packages for the light and business plans, and if you hear a cat in the background, that is, I think, Cleocatra. My cat. <laughs> as opposed to my wife's. All right. Let's download the sample package, as I have a couple of times before now, as you can see. And this is the sort of quality you can expect from a small PNG file. Let's see, high-resolution PNG. There we go. Better. So, let's go back to the main page here. Now, as you can see, I've typed in the name Website Planet. Website Planet is, of course, the name of this website you're watching the video on, probably. And we're actually doing a little competition. I'm reviewing some 14 different logo design services, some with auto-generated logos and some uh, with designers, uh, crowdsourcing, for example. Um... And the winner is going to be the new logo for this website. Let's see if Smashing Logo makes the cut. Let's see if they are going to give us our next logo. So we have here a few options. We can add more, generate more at will. Oh dear God, I don't think I'm a fan. Let's <laughs> so far. That is not great. Um... I do kind of like the, what they've done with the typography here. Ooh, you get to see it with different color combinations. Me likey. Let's uh, knock that, that slider down closer to simple. You can add a tagline or slogan, which is nice. Yeah, they are, I mean, of course, all logo generators uh, generate logos according to a pre-designed formula. But other logo generators seem to provide a bit more in the way of customization, such as uh, choosing your logo mark or logo icon. Icons don't seem to be an option here. Let's go fancy and see what we get. Honestly, I thought I was going to do a longer, more in-depth review, but this is a very simple, very, um, <laughs> frankly, dead simple tool. Let's knock that fancy slider down a little bit more. I'm seeing some variation in the patterns used, some variation in the the formula, which is good. I do like this, the, <laughs> the book on the, on the B. That's great for a, a book publisher logo, I guess, if you're starting your own publishing business. Let's add a few more from the middle of the road here. Seeing a few patterns repeat the extended descenders on cap on the on the letters in the first word, for example. Huh. Okay, this one in the lower left here is a little hyper corporate, but frankly, better for our purposes than most. I kind of wish I could specify um, that planet needs to go under website, but needs to be more or less the same size. Really wish there were more customization options. Now, I did read that you can ask for customization, like you can include a screenshot of the logo that you want and ask them to make some small changes. And as long as they're small changes, they'll even do it for free. I mean, well, free... Um, in the context of you're paying for the logo. But uh, if you want massive changes, you will need to buy the, like, the sort of premium plan. Because then they will, uh, th that comes with one hour of free, like, 
logo service, a design service. So far, I'm not a fan of most of this. I mean, they're decent enough logos, but there's not enough uh, options. There's not enough personalization to really... Huh, well, that could work. Oddly enough, I saw this exact concept designed by uh, designed in a logo contest we ran on uh, Design Hill, I believe. I did not choose it then, and I do not think I'll be choosing it now, though it, it does come the closest to the whole idea of a planet. Okay, I really thought this review was going to be longer. I was going to dive in to all of the customization options. I was going to... <sighs> yeah, you see this? That's not going to work out now, is it? That is not going to work out. All right, deleting all except the favorites. We have 10 favorites now. And let's start narrowing them down. And then there were two. Only two. The one on the right is looking nice and corporate, and that's not a uh, diss. I'm not, <laughs> you know, I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but it's just not what I'm looking for exactly. Well, it does appear that there's an editor of sorts, so let's see. We can change the colors. Oh, I feel like a. Oh, you've got to buy the premium plan to do a personalized icon. Ah, uh, and they will hand. And one of their designers will do it. Okay, okay. I see what they're doing there. Uh, the, the base prices I, are, are, I think, pretty cheap. But. They're getting sneaky. They're getting sneaky. Okay, that's that's what they're doing. They're charging extra money for icon design. It's not a bad plan. It's a smart plan. Oh, variations. Variations on the logo. I, 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 okay, so I, if I just pick the one, I can find the variations on it. But I'm not seeing any variations. Oh, you've got to hit this button to generate more variations. That's not terribly intuitive, if I'm honest. But you can favorite your variations and change... Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay you see... That is looks more creative, but it's a little too sci-fi. It's a little too sci-fi. Come on. Get me back to the logos on the side. Ah, why... Okay. I'm choosing dislike. Do not like. Better. Then again, I don't think the AI is really learning. I think it's uh, just going through a number of preset permutations. Which is, again, it's, it's fine. The logos are fine. There we go. That's closer to what I want. But give me the, give me it bunched up, but on the side. Come on. It, <laughs> oh, wow. This is, this is slightly frustrating. Not being, like, if they gave me just a bunch of variations all in a row, like at the beginning, and I could pick the ones I want, that would be much easier, wouldn't it? But no, they're making this a pain in the butt. Now, you notice I haven't been worried about the colors so much. The colors are blue but you can switch them up give some purple but that's a bit too bright purple we need something more bluish purple there we go that's a lot closer to the color scheme we're using on the website let's remove these variations and see if we can get some purple variations better i'm gonna add this to the favorites on the off chance it learns something It's not learning. It's not learning. I have to admit, this is one of the most tedious customization processes I've run into. Just let me click and drag some things, guys. Let me click and drag a few things. It's not that hard. Everyone else lets me click and drag. 
All right. Any more, and this will not be entertaining to watch at all. Okay, I'm going to just go back over to here, and this this is what we're going to use. All right, I have to go for a bit to pay for this. I'm not going to show that process on the video. I am not. So, I'll see you all around in a bit. All right, this is the account page. And this is the terrifying thing. Anybody who has your reference number or your email address or this URL up here, which I'm probably going to have to blur out of the video, can access your your logos, can access uh, your your purchases. It's very, very insecure. Oh, so very insecure. All right, I'm going to get that out of this page now so you don't all see any more of that and I don't have to blur it for any more frames than I have to. Uh, the final result, I did buy the cheapest package. So let's see, we get a medium resolution PNG and it's showing up on a white background. That, 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 that doesn't help. Um, so let me just go ahead and open up these logos in Affinity Designer. Let's go to medium resolution. There we go. Yeah, that's looking better. You could actually use that for a few things. Let's see. It's at 136% zoom right now. Okay, come on. Just give me regular zoom, please. There we go. Uh, the results look fine. Sorry that took a second. It looks fine. Wouldn't use it for print work, but it's good for any website and social media usage you might want to uh, you might have in mind. Okay, so now you have to look at me for a second more. Sorry. Basically, I am actually very disappointed in this service. I've worked with many others that were kind of bare bones, I thought, very simple, but this was whoa. You really can't do much with this, not on your own. Now, you can ask for customization. There's a form on the website itself where you can ask for customization, uh, and I will include that in the full written review. But it's clearly designed to get you in contact with the team, either buying a logo immediately or get it in contact with the team. The user interface is very tedious to use, and I think that might actually be intentional. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. <laughs> sorry to be so blunt, and I'm sorry to the poor smashing logo devs that I'm, um, that I'm dunking on right here, but it's, uh, it's not good. Not compared to the competition. Not great. Uh, that said, if you need a very cheap logo and you don't mind not having any form of precise control without asking somebody to do it for you, then I guess it could work for you. The logos were, that were generated did look decent. They looked good even, some of them, uh, following a lot of various pre-established uh, pre preset formulas as usual. <clears throat> but there was little way to tweak that formula and there was little way to kind of tell the uh, AI, the generator, what you did like and what you didn't like, so it would do more of what you liked. All in all, I, I would not recommend this. But if you really want to see how much I would not recommend it, then please do check out the rest of the written review. I'm probably going to think of some very choice things to say while I'm writing, and hopefully it'll be amusing, at least. All right, I'm rambling. I'll stop. Peace out.